Do you see the depth as a as a plus now that all these injuries have happened, or, and are you about at your breaking point as far as even that's concerned? Well, I feel good about our our guys that are coming in off the bench. You know, I felt great about that all year, and, and especially since I've taken over as the coach. So, my thing is, from a coaching standpoint, those guys got to come in and be ready to play. I mean. Injuries occur in our game, and there's there's not, not a whole lot we can do about Amari being out. Uh, but it gives Josh and Jerome as big guys an opportunity. Novak would have to fill it up even a bigger role, uh, playing some uh, uh, fours uh, out on the floor. Um, so I'm just anxious as a coach. I'm just anxious to see how guys are going to step up and play. Mike, realistically, what would uh, they did they tell you anything on when you early? No, not at all. Not at all. Mike, did you get a chance to talk to him all right at all? No, not yet. I have not had an opportunity uh, to talk to him, but I will. You know, and just got to tell him he's got to keep his head up. And, and if he has to have surf, he's got to rehab and come back. He's still a young player, man. He's got a, a lot of games still left in him, so we can just wish him nothing but the best. Mike, is his situation different from Barron's? Is it as serious as what Barron has? You know, I don't know yet. Um, I'll sit and have an opportunity to talk with the doctors and, and just see exactly where he is and, and, and what they plan on doing. I mean, I'm sure Mario will seek for maybe another opinion before anything's done, if anything is done. So all we can do is wait and see. When Jeremy took part today, did you think he would have him tonight? Yeah, I thought so. And um, you know, obviously that not going to happen. So again, I guess as a coach, I got to move on and, and uh, make sure our doctors rehab, you know, Jeremy and get him ready for whenever he's ready to step back on the floor to play. Coach, do you think it was important to get Iman in the starting lineup dealing with a quick small guard like Monte Ellis? Yes. You know, and I mean, Iman is one of our better defenders out on the floor. Um, and he brings energy, high energy when he's out there. So we we're going to need that to start the game, and that's why I'm, I'm throwing him in the lineup. So I haven't even heard anything yeah. about it. Um, when, when you guys asked me after the game the other day about his back, I didn't, I didn't even know what was going on until I went and seen him after the game. He said it was a little sore. Okay. Um, hey, John John. And that was it. Christian so, Peterson, you know, see, what, see what's going on. So L- we, 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 we need that. Losing yeah. him in any capacity, is that especially tough that he had finally kind of gotten Yeah, especially up? right now because he was, you know, he's trying to find his rhythm. Got his legs back. It's all, uh, you know, his body. His body. He said his body started feeling better. Started feeling great um, since this summer. Um, so just to have him right now, the crucial point of, point of the season right now, where we really need these wins and really need all the guys we, we can have out there. Uh, it's, it's a big. It's a big hit for us right now. Things. Welcome to so much to talk about. Pre-game versus the show, Milwaukee Bucks visiting New York Knicks. They're fighting for a playoff spot. It's a big game tonight. My pleasure to have point guard for the Bucks, Mr. Sean Livingston. Nice to have you. Thanks for having me, man. Nice to you. Um, talk about uh, how this team has dealt with so many injuries and being able to really contend and uh, and and not just go for the eighth spot, but to go further. Uh, I mean, I think just you know, it's been a long season, up and down. We had some injuries, you know, guys coming in and out the lineup, trades. So, you know, we we managed to really uh, pull it together. And I think uh, the most important part is you know to be playing uh, at your best towards the end of the season. Wow. And talk about um, what you've gained this season um, from your role and everything, and how you're looking, um, how you're looking forward to get more minutes as time goes on, especially as the games get more important. Yeah, just being more uh, more of an impact. Um, you know, just making a statement when I when I come into the game, and uh, you know, just being a positive, I guess, a positive influence on the floor. You know, uh, giving, get, you know, making guys better, and also uh, making the team better. Talk about the advantage of being a six point guard. I mean, that is such a huge advantage, and that's why you know you've been able to really make an impact in your way in the league. Definitely, just you know, my height, uh, size, and skill. That's just really uh, been my bread and butter. You know, and even more so now, just with my injury, just taking advantage of that. Uh, now, you know, I got to give you so much credit um, for coming back from that horrific knee injury. Please share with the audience, you know, how much perseverance and how much desire it took for you to get back. Yeah, just, you know, obviously uh, a lot of people seen it. And it was just one of those things where, uh, you know, you just you got to get through it. Uh, and, and it takes, you know, it takes a lot of effort. It takes courage. It takes, you know, family, uh, you know, a supporting cast, you know. But it takes, you know... 
uh, a higher power as well. You know, I believe in God. You know, God God got me through as well. You know, a lot of prayer and um, I mean, you know, a lot of hard work. You know, there's not really any shortcuts. Now, what are your thoughts of, of of kids not being able to come out of high school into the NBA? What are your honest thoughts on that? I mean, you know, it is what it is. You know, that's they're gonna they're gonna make the rules and. You know, I mean, I, it's one of those things. If if they had that rule in place when we were in high school, we probably we'd had to go to college, you know. But they didn't, and we had the, the opportunity to go. So, you know, they just. I guess they got to figure it out. I'm neutral. Well, one more question. That 2004 class. I talked to uh, Al Jefferson last month about that class. We're talking about how deep that class is, and maybe I think every player has probably played in the league. Yeah, our, our class was deep. Man. I mean, we we go back. You know, we we probably got almost. You know, 50 players has played in the league, been in and out the league. Then you talk about guys that are cornerstone, you know, franchise pieces at, at, at one time, you know, I mean, and, and are now as well, you know. So, I mean, we, we definitely, uh, you know, got one of, one of the most historical classes, you know, to come out of high school. Are you ever going to grow that fro again? Nah, it's over. <laughs> it's over. It's over. I hope y'all enjoyed it, but it's over. <laughs> Same with me. I had it a couple of years ago. I was like, that's it. Yeah, I had to let, her, let it go, man. <laughs> Brother Sean, Thanks, pleasure man. to have you on the show. Look Appreciate forward to seeing you tonight. Good luck the rest of the season. Thank you. Thanks, boss. Appreciate it. Pleasure to have from UW, Mr. John Brockman. Nice to have you on the show. Thanks for having me on. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Talk about rebounding, the the skill set and the power of rebounding. Like, uh, it, you know, it's it, talk about it's not just a desire, but it takes, like, just technique as well, right? Yeah, I think a lot of it is desire, uh, but there is definitely technique to to it. Uh, you know, you, you always got to keep your eye on the ball so you can get a read of it when it comes off the rim. Um, and there's a lot of um, holding and grabbing that goes on. Um, that's technique um, that you got to be able to get away with. Wow, wow. And, uh, and uh, talk about how um, you've been able, with that rebound and prowess, been able to make your niche in the league and be able to be um, relevant and get some um, burn. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's something that every team needs. Everyone needs a rebounder, and um, me kind of as an energy guy, uh, my offensive rebounding um, can go out and have an impact on the game, getting extra possessions for the team, um, going and getting that offensive rebound, and then kicking it out to someone for a three. Um, you know, that can be like a dagger to, to another team. So I just try and go out there and uh, grab as many as I can. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not a bad job. Play good perimeter, uh, not perimeter defense, interior defense, excuse me. Yeah, I mean, just like rebounding, um, defense is positioning and knowing some tricks and um, having a good feel for what the other guy's going to do. And, um, you know, there's, there's a spot for that in the league. So when I go in, I'm just playing defense and, and rebounding. University of Washington disappointing first round loss they didn't make the tournament um but talk about the tradition over the past 10 years a lot of players have really made an impact in this league yeah there's um right now um there's six guys playing in the nba um and uh, four of them i played with i think justin Demon just got called up to the spurs so um, it, it's good to see, you know, it's fun being able to see your buddies that you played with on other teams and, and keep in contact with them. Um, but there's a, there's a good tradition at Washington, um, and they didn't get in the NCAA tournament, but they're here in New York actually, um, playing in the final four, the NIT. So, you know, they're still working hard and, um, you know, I think they're going to continue to be a team that's putting players in the league. Uh, and, uh, one more question, um, talk about a lot of injuries, a very crucial game tonight. Talk about the things that you're continuing to work on and Coach Skiles is continuing to stress for you to make that stretch run. Uh, just everything on the defensive end. Um, you know, when we come out and we really stop teams and uh, have energy um, and stick to our defensive concepts, then, you know, we're, we're a tough team to play with. Um, so keep continuing what we're doing on the offensive end, um, but just keep working at uh, becoming a better team defense, uh, a defensive team. And, uh, you know, he's going to be harping on that until the last second of the season. Yeah, so right. uh, you can always get better. That's right. Well, does he ever talk about his 30 assist game? <laughs> he's mentioned it a few times. <laughs> <laughs> well, John, thank you for your time, and uh, good luck the rest of the season. Look right. forward to seeing you tonight. Thanks. Thank you. Yep.